Uh, here's an old wagon. Old wagon. Just hanging out here in the bluffs. Yeah. And then here's the old hitch to it. Yeah, that's just yeah. on there. The old hitch. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty neat. Well, howdy folks, Sean here from Hiking with Sean on YouTube. And today I am doing some off trail hiking at Ferncliff remote area by Bork Falls. And just checking out some bluff lines with River River Trail President William Gilmore and my yeah. girlfriend. <clears throat> Just a pretty, pretty bluff, pretty bluffage. And then you got the upside down the tree. <laughs> I can go that way, or I can go this way. Probably gonna go this way. <laughs> See you guys on the other side. Oh yeah, this was, <laughs> yeah, this was a good idea. <laughs> All right, thank you. Almost. 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 Uh. I did. <laughs> There we are. Oh, hey, Bill. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> That's it. It only goes up. <laughs> yeah, it only goes up. <laughs> I'm not the only one who <laughs> decided to go into the hole. There's Michelle. There we go. Cool shelter. Cool shelter that you can get to right here. Oh, okay, it's a little uh, it's a little difficult to get to it right there. But <laughs> let's see here. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Uh, Sean, ah. take your backpack off. <laughs> 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 uh. I was just joking when I said <laughs> Okay. I gotta take my backpack off. Here, I'll hold <laughs> There you go. Oh, <laughs> what the hell did I uh, volunteer for? Oh, yeah. No doubt. Ugh. You might be a better breakfast next time. Ugh. <laughs> 
Uh, I'll take that. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, squeezing through some caves here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you record that? I did. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you not going to take your backpack off? <laughs> no, I'm skinny enough. <laughs> okay. Ch ch she just called me fat, YouTube. <laughs> she just called me fat. No, your backpack's fat. You're okay. Come in neat area. All the bluffage. And just a cool... I think they may have found an old car up here. Remnants of an old car. <laughs> Who knows the history of this? Probably just someone, someone throwing junk, maybe. There's a rumor she heard where someone drove a car off of a cliff at Dixon Springs, and we think we found the car. There's like very little of it left. Yeah. It was kind of off trail towards the, the private property lines. Pretty cool though. Yeah, I, I don't know what this is. There's more parts over here. Yeah, looks like something. Yep, probably. Back then it was like litter, and now it's just old, old junk. Ancient litter. Pretty cool little area. Be a nice little pool in the spring, summer, when it's full of water. A little dribble coming down. Just full of all these interesting rocks. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. It's, is it, are they fossilized? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Boy, that is weird. It's almost like they were mining something. Yeah. That's interesting. Could be something, some old mining of the past. Or that, yeah. Maybe some sort of mining, or Bill said maybe scavengers looking for like Indian artifacts. Yep. Oh, what do you see on that? Yeah, it's like a whole little area where it looks like it's been dug. Alrighty. Really cool area here. It's like a ravine and buffage on both sides, boulders. Probably look really good if there's a lot of water flowing, like some sort of like flash flooding. And, and at least in the lower part. It'd probably look really nice. Water in the winter with snow everywhere. Uh -huh. That'd look awesome. I bet a It'd be hard to get out here though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nature surprises nature leaves behind for us. I just can't believe more people doesn't want to see stuff like this. It's just amazing. And this is a part of Fern Cliff that rarely gets people. Kind of reminds me of hmm. Kind of get a hint of deja vu trying to think what it reminds me of all right cool pool with a little trickling waterfall going had a 
turn on some ND filters. The reflection's kind of bright, but there you go. It's pretty cool. Really, really cool area, I think, with the ferns everywhere. I just always think that's special looking. Just very, very neat. Oh, it says for a creek. Pretty, pretty boulder in the creek. Fell into the creek, slipped on a rock. I didn't fall on my butt or nothing, but but I got wet. That's, <laughs> that is for sure. It's, I did get wet, but that's part of it. At least for me, it seems. Um, I'm one who slips all the time. Uh, just none of the slips are like life-threatening, you know, because I try not to get anywhere where it's life-threatening. Um, I guess I could break an ankle. But with a broken ankle, I think I can manage to force myself to move out of the forest um, versus like a broken back where it's just impossible. All right, calling this big tree arch. Michelle found it. Michelle's big tree arch. It's a big tree really big tree right on top of the arch but you could see daylight through it kind of hard to see over on this side maybe a little bit better on the other side and it's an actual arch 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 ah, there you go I have some filters on so it's a little hard there you go, you can see daylight. So, true arch. It's all stone that it's on anyway. Pretty cool. It's a cool little, a lot of barbed wire, old barbed wire. Kind of attached to the tree. And, and just a big, Big bluff line. Really cool area. Just love seeing this old settlement stuff. Old fence post. Another old fence post with barbed wire. Another old fence post. Weird looking tree. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Bill found a window and named it window number two. <laughs> because why not? But there's a window. I just can't really focus too good through it. But you can see right through it. And we go around the other side. Okay. I said, watch your noggin. I said, I did post that on your thing. Uh, oh, that's Still hiking. Hiking with the bluffage. All, cool, all sorts of cool bluffage here. Ooh. Bluffage and rocks hidden in the leaves. A little hallway. Hmm. Pretty cool. 
pretty cool bluffage. Cool outcropping shelter with some interesting moss. A lot of deer coming here. Yeah, I don't know if it's harsh or not. It might be. Hmm. It's definitely a couple of rocks laying against each other for sure. Look at these monster mushrooms. Thinking we're calling them the, the lion's mane. Don't know for sure. Actually, two windows. Look at that. This has got to be the prettiest poop I've ever seen. <laughs> Man. Well, I've never seen magenta. I just took a picture of it. <laughs> That's probably the prettiest poop I've ever that seen. That is some pretty poop. <laughs> Wow, that's very, a lot of very berry poop, very berry poop. That sounds like, that sounds like I put a patent on it. There's all sorts of little berries in there and everything. That is very pretty poop. What am I, your guinea pig? You got my hand up there. I, I think I am, but I'm not crawling off. I guess I am crawling off. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Let me see her coming out. <laughs> and there we go. That was a window, folks. <laughs> and, a little, and a little window up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Another little one up there, yeah. Yep. Cool. That one was really cool there. Yeah. That's very cool. <laughs> That's a good window. Couple of good windows. Ooh. Nice bluffage. Found this cool hole in the bottom of a boulder. And it's just like a little, little like shelter cave almost, but pretty neat. Thinking maybe it was made from from this waterfall came down there and just rushed against this and created the hole it could have it could be the could be the reason making our way to Bork Falls where you guys are going. So. There you go. Bork Falls. Little waterfall today. Little waterfall. Beautiful place. What a nice scene to end the video. So, thank you for watching another episode of Hiking with Sean. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Comment below, tell me what you thought if you want to see more off-trail adventures like this one. And please share this video with others, especially on social media. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe today. It's free, and it really motivates me to keep going. I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff under Hiking with Sean. All that will be in the description below. Check it out. So thanks again for watching another episode of Hiking with Sean. Until next time, I'll see you on the trail. I think it's going to be uh, Whipple Boy's Pizza Time. Yesterday was Mackey's. Today it's Wiffle Boy's Pizza. Isn't that just pretty?